What's up everybody? Tyler Parsons here again, helping you get in the golf shape that you're looking to do. Definitely a different setting. Uh, I've got my garage set up as my home gym now. That way hopefully we can get some more content to you more regularly. Gonna be looking at what we can do at home, um, even without a squat rack, power rack, whatever you wanna call it, to keep everything simple, keep you going, keep you improving. Go on and get a warm up and let's dive into some of these exercises guaranteed to improve that golf performance. So the number one thing, the best exercise I love for golfers, it's been around forever, uh, is just anchoring a band to a surface here so that you can do some very simple horizontal chops, okay? And the thing that you wanna do is make sure that it has a good resistance, but allowing to work on that sequencing to where you can turn. All right, so I'm having to do this left-handed, not a left-handed golfer. Definitely some added benefits to doing both sides, building up, keeping that body symmetrical. That way we have the um, explosiveness on that one side, but more importantly, the body's ability to be able to slow it down in a timely manner to prevent the injury, okay? But not only the injury prevention, but that allows us a greater time to be able to accelerate. A lot of you at home, are gonna to have to already be slowing down prior to getting to the ball, and that's where we see that decrease in club head speed. So, it gets anchored, I have a nice big turn, I'm in my golf posture, and what I always tell my players to do is really think about initiating with the hips, driving off that back foot, creating as much separation as they can, and really feeling that midsection, pulling the hands through, okay? So we're from there, and really letting it rip, getting set, and then going again, making sure that we have a nice big turn and fire. Fantastic to work that core. It's actually gonna help out again with the separation, with that drive, creating the ground force, okay? So a lot of really good exercises to reiterate what you're trying to do in that golf swing, okay? So if you haven't already added this, this is just a uh, Rogue Fitness Band. They come in a bunch of different colors as resistance. I know they have a uh, red back here that's a little lighter. We have a blue. <laughs> I don't think any of you are big enough yet that you want to use one of the uh, green ones because that's a lot of resistance. But again, making sure that you can work the range of motion, learning how to sequence and doing everything we need to. Number one exercise. Right, exercise two. We know that in golf, you have to be able to pull more than you can push to create that club head speed. So the back is a huge component of that, all right? Working with a lot of different individuals from amateurs to pros, one of the big lacking things are the pull-ups, okay? So again, this is if you have a rack or a pull-up bar, but I love seeing the wide grip all the way up, all the way down, and being able to really produce that strength and power. So the second exercise is building up to where you can do pull-ups. If you struggle with those, here's where I really have uh, gotten into this exercise, especially at home. I don't have a lap pull-down machine, but now I can take my same band, loop it over, I'm gonna come all the way down, get set, and work on my posture there to where my arms are back and out in front, pulling down all the way back up. Again, with different bands, I can work different resistance, okay? I can also take it down to the front to hit that muscle group a little different, but really being able to hit a lot of that explosiveness, contracting down to the lats. Now obviously if we're gonna be working it, we really want you doing a lat stretch as well to make sure they don't get tight. It's great to have that nice big V, but if we can't move and get that lat to function to where we can get that hand up with those traps, it's really gonna be inhibiting the end goal there for more speed. Now I mentioned being able to do pull-ups. If you really struggle with that, you can use a band for that added assistance, okay? So you can go and you can put your foot down, you can put both feet in, you can use a bigger band, whatever you need to, and I'm gonna have to leave mine slightly bent so it doesn't hit me, and coming up to where that helps me be able to pull and do those a lot easier, okay? So sort of like a uh, assistant machine, but now we have the bands. Something else for you to think about, dive in, hammer out that back, get that pull down so that we can get nice and high and contract and pull with that rotational force. Exercise three, staying with the band, hitting that chest, 
what we want to do here is I've got it anchored. I'm going to go into a split stance. I'm going to go on and have my chest rotated, moving a little more forward so I have rotation or have that loaded up. And now I'm going to go through and rotate and extend. Okay, so this is like one of those punches. I know we've seen it before, but working through, holding, filling it in that pack, having to rotate. We can make it harder by going down into that lunge position and really having it drive. But again, it's one of those little two for one. Anytime that we can be efficient, I want you to be because I know you don't have a lot of time. So I'm having to brace. I've got my stability of the lower body. I'm going on and turning, so I'm working that separation. And then we're really pushing with the band being able to create that power. So if I want it to go even harder and faster, I can get loaded up and fire it and rebound and come back while it's still in control. But producing that quick explosiveness that again, we need for that power. So whenever we do go on and come through, that chest is picking up the slack since that's one of the three main power components. Great exercise, add it in, do both sides. You can even get creative with it, get advanced, drop it down to where it's not as high, get that chest a little different. You could even drop it down low and bring it up high if we're pushing, sort of like a chop and a lift, okay? Add that exercise in as well. Okay, number four, I mentioned that back being important. It's so important, we're gonna do a different exercise. We've already pulled down, but now I really want to work those shoulder blades, allow them to protract and retract. That way we have a hopefully healthy thoracic spine so that we can go on and make sure we're rotating. Again, a lot of you are gonna have trigger points built up on one side or both that are inhibiting how that body sort of functions. And anytime that happens, we're looking at limitations to occur elsewhere in the body, which I know for a fact is slowing you down. I don't have any big heavy weights here, but we could use them. Um, but I'm just going to use the band. I'm going from here, getting set, and I'm just going to be pulling back from there, really trying to hold. And again, there's different ways we can do this, okay? I can go nice and fast to where I'm firing, and you see that I'm holding at the top, or we can just really work it. It's going to come down to what are we trying to get out of the exercise? Meaning, am I looking at trying to improve the shoulder blades? Am I looking on solely trying to hit the power? You know, it's all different. And that's why it's, uh, you get a lot of questions that you send over to me. It's not as easy as saying, go to do this. I have to know where you currently are physically, uh, what those goals are and everything, and try to prescribe the best from there, okay? So another great exercise for that back. There's a bunch we can do with dumbbells. Again, this is just gonna be the start, guys. Uh, I have no excuse. I'll walk out that door, kind of make you helpful videos. Let's go on and look at this next exercise. All right, so you know we've got to do something for the legs. Work that stability, work the strength of those legs. Again, I'm gonna throw in another component here with the band. Instead of a home workout, I guess I should call this a band workout. But all you're gonna do here is we're gonna lunge down. Once you pull this out, give me a nice big twist over the knee, come back. Same thing, so now again, we're hitting that back. You can see how still that lower body's staying here. And as I'm pulling back, I'm gonna show you this from the side as well. I'm not trying to let it hit my chest, okay? I'm actually a little short there. That way it's not just resting there, but I've had to work twice as hard to control that. It can't whip back and I can't let it pull back and just land on my chest. As we're doing those, what you can do to help out with those legs is as you're down, Push off forcefully. Try to move yourself back and work through, okay? I've done this exercise or a variation of it um, in the past called the TikTok lunges uh, to where we're actually going forward and back. But again, that explosive compound is in there to help you out moving around. There's quite a few exercises right there. Again, a lot more to come. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. A lot of content getting ready to be flooded through. Um, let me know. Let me know what you're looking for. What can I help you out with? What do you want to see more of and what do you hate? Okay, but again, look out for a review um, on this power rack that I've recently gotten. Already done quite a few workouts myself. Love it. Um, but I can tell you the pros and cons, what you may want to look at, okay? So again, subscribe guys. Thanks for the support. Be on the lookout for more content to help you improve that golf performance.